welcome back to my tiny microphone talks with Sedana. Sedana Dawn. Um, we're going to switch it on up. We're going to talk about life in, from the viewpoint of a kid. So, like, what do you feel as a kid? Like, what do you... What do you feel adults could do more to, like, support kids today or, like, support you as a kid? Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <To> listen. <laughs> uh, you, she got straight to the point. Listen. In, like, what ways? Like, just to regular conversation or, like, sitting down long talks or more of, like, short-term listening, you know? Like, like on their opinion and, mm. like, on what they think because most, like, most parents and most people say, especially people I think you know people um say that kids don't have an opinion mm. can't think yeah. shouldn't think mm. because they don't have opinions I guess yeah. but there's really a lot to the world so mm. I feel like they should listen and so like yeah I, I mean I think that's a beautiful answer because I agree I think kids don't get listened to enough um what else about, like, so what do you think about, like, limitations as a kid? Like, the fact that people limit children to, like, thinking and talking and stuff like that. Do you think that there needs to be more avenues for children to be able to speak up about things, you know, in their life and school and all of that? Yes, because I get that grown-ups are grown and they're, they know more stuff, mm -hmm. but... Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> some of them. They all know. <laughs> but it doesn't mean... Well, some... Well, yeah, we should. We kind of need to be treated different, but I don't think we do a lot. Like, cause they were a kid once. It's it's crazy. It's just weird. Right. So you think there'd be more understanding to be like, yeah. you were a kid once. You know what it's like. I agree completely. So like, what about how like, how do you feel about? And this is a little more deeper, but just to touch it, like, how do you feel when like adults? label you as things like maybe say you have an outfit on and you like oh I look cute and then like an adult's like oh you you fast or why are you dressed like you know what I mean like how do you feel when you get critiqued about your clothing and things like that or like what you look like well to be honest if they really did have a problem about it it's the clothes that they bought us okay. and it's the clothes that they wear too okay. so if you wear that, I'm going to be inspired by you to wear it. That's crazy. So if you really have a problem with it, maybe dress like me or get me clothes that you want me to wear. <laughs> Don't. You, I'm not buying my clothes. <laughs> That's crazy because I just made a video yesterday saying the same thing that I'm like. There's nothing I would wear that I wouldn't, you know, that I would care if y'all wear. That's why I be letting y'all wear my clothes because I don't think, you know, anything bad about it. So it's funny that yeah. from the mouth of a child, you're saying the same thing is like that. And, and also, like, put more options for kid-appropriate things if they think that it's not appropriate, you know what I mean? Yeah, because, like, if you do think stuff is isn't appropriate, then why buy it? Why get it? <laughs> and, and, and if, like, it's just... I don't know. Like, how do you? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> so, what about what about other adults who maybe don't buy your stuff? Like, say if it's a teacher or just another adult walks past and they're like, "Why you? You know, like you dress too fast, or why you got your nails done or something?" How do you feel about that? Why are you looking at my clothes? <laughs> are you looking at my clothes? If it bothers you that much, then look away. <laughs> look away <laughs> simple as that like don't look then like, but <laughs> like how teachers be like if someone is fighting you or threatening you or something walk away <laughs> just walk away like like they expect us to stand up for someone bullying us but or bullying someone else right but if someone gets into a fight it's no walk away walk away, <laughs> walk away. Like, I'm supposed to defend myself, not stand there in the corner and be like, no, please help. Please help me teach you. No. Yeah, that, yeah, I ain't never, don't turn no other cheek. If somebody's poking at you, poke them back with your fist, though. But we don't promote violence here on Tiny Microphone. It's just yeah. me telling you how to defend yourself. But, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, from the viewpoint of a child, like, what's something else that, like, 
this world can offer because I know a lot of times they're like, oh, these kids today, y'all don't like to go outside. Y'all just lazy. Like, how do you feel about that stuff too, just saying things about these kids today? Well, I know there's different generations and stuff. They have different point of views and stuff, and there's different, like, I don't think that's ever going to stop because <laughs> no. it's not going to stop. <laughs> um, but I know there's, because it's poor parenting, mm. poor parenting. Mm. So you don't want to deal with your child, get them a phone, stick them in a room. You don't let them play outside or anything. Mm. That's why the generation is bad because you stick them in a room with the phone watching skibbity toilet or something <laughs> like no you need to go like if if you do want your kid to be outside more talk to them mm -hmm. don't get them a phone or a tablet and if you do let them have like 30 minutes they don't need an hour mm. or two hours right limit yeah and as they get order older maybe get them a phone mm -hmm. but still spend time with them because if you get if you get them a phone or anything or electronics and stick them in a room, they're going to be addicted to that thing mm. and not want to go outside mm. and not acknowledge you. Mm. And you're going to feel like a bad parent. So just acknowledge your children. Y'all, she she preaching today. y'all. This is not coached at all. This off the top of the dome and the tiny microphone. I, I don't even I don't even know if I have any more questions. I'm still taking it all in. But is there anything else you would like to touch on about like just from the viewpoint of a child or like yeah, just what you feeling? Let let them know. Give it to them. Focus on your children. Yeah. Don't leave them alone. Let them speak. Yeah. Let them be the kids. Let them be themselves. If you have a problem with their outfit, not saying this to parents, cause, but saying this to other people. Look away and mind your business. <laughs> Look away, mind your business. If you don't have a benefit, like a good solution to your problems, don't speak on it. I love that. I love that for you. So, yeah, reporting live from Tiny Microphone. <laughs>